Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. And we're kicking things off at the main entrance. It's going to be Chris J trying to show presence towards inside, trying to keep those rotations towards inner. But Mouse Sports looking ready to boy, He's ready to boy outside. It's going to be Oof. a quick exchange there as Voxic will take down Glaive. And it's a very, very quick approach towards outside here, Alex. This is about to be a brawl, Hank. Voxic, he's done well to get two. However, damage inflicted. Two remain for the CTs. Magisk's not tidy, but still finds it. Can escape with Precise in the second. Chance. Back for Astralis, an advantage seized. Voxic, you can't do anything with this health, surely. One bullet from Magisk will do it, and they confirm it. Two versus four to start things off. Look at that first frag if possible. Not the best position. He tries to pull back here. Two players in front of him. Flashbangs being exchanged now. A rotation from Glaive, so four towards outer. As Chris J will make his way to the main entrance, looking for the first kill, working in tandem here, but it's too free in device. Finding those initial kills, Rob's answers back, but still, Device in a decent position, goes down to the three on two, Frozen down to 25 HP. And Voxic, he knows he has to deliver here. Still a good chance he can win the round, he's got the firepower, but he has taken a bullet to the face, no helmet, will survive, down to 14 HP, two on two now. May just waits towards Ivy. One bullet in that general direction will be enough, there's Frozen. Voxic down to the two versus one now, 15 seconds remain, he hasn't got the bomb either. It's recoverable, but it doesn't look like he win this round. Good shot, though. The wall bank towards Ivy. One on one. Can he finish oh, things off? He, he drops off. down. No time, no bomb. He has to hunt Zipex. He's not going to give him the fight. Wow. Back and forth we go. Both teams demonstrating their power. A little bit of damage inflicted, but overall, that's going to be the cue for Mouseport to make their way towards inside. We said Zipex is alone, but rotations are coming through. Yep. He's moving his mouth, and well, he's been removed. Taking control of the site, Device immediately catching one back, a chance for a second. Carrigan, precise with a scope of his own on that Krieg, and a chance for a second as well. Now the Molly arrives, Mouse Sports, they're flying through this one. Rops eventually confirms the round is theirs. Glaive will just be looking to cower and preserve the M4. Three frags from Carrigan on the way into that site. Huge deal on train, it's a very long range map, you can avoid the utility. More often than not, and we'll see the initial duel here. Box it quickly out towards main entrance, takes down that secondary orb, and it's an early advantage, but not for long. Glaive snatches it off and shows Magisk how it's done. Quick frag in return. Love the aggression from Mouseports. Look how much control they've managed to take so early. They can hit the brakes a little bit, but the fights are coming to them. Zipex onto Carrigan. Advantage now once again in Astralis. Hands and extended. That's the bomb. Rops has managed to get the frag on the inner side, but what does it mean when the bomb's loose in front of Dupree? Frozen on the other side of the map as well. He's going to walk into the crosshairs of Glaive. Another frag for the in-game leader. And we have got a nice position here from Dupree, but he might be pre-fired here by Rops. We'll see. It's going to be a nice clean frag and three players surviving there with the AWPs. Rops has made it down towards Popdog here, but here comes a flashbang. Is that the alley-oop for Dupree to swing through? It is. The Rops ready and waiting. So they the seize it. Three players towards Ivy. The flashbang comes through, but Voxic ready and waiting. That's the cue to go now. Five versus three. They know the rotations are there. But Magus holding strong with the AWP. Is that going to be enough? That might be. Glaive in the bomb site here. It's actually a two versus two quickly, but both players with AWPs here. Device and Magus. 40 seconds on the clock, and the bomb's down towards E-Box. Yeah, Mouse Sports. It looks so good for them, but now. From either side, Astralis can strike, a shot missed, and jumping through the smoke, Device will punish, Frozen, a very scary circumstance from both angles, they get it! Flashbang comes through, he's behind Magus, and now he has to do something about this, there's the swing, can he find both oh! kills? He absolutely can, great work! Exactly what they wanted out of that, they did lose Device, but they have the man advantage for now, and full control of Ivy, it's gonna push, Rops down towards that lower ramp, making his way through, but Zipex, he heard all of this, he's ready and waiting behind the spores, there should be a couple of kills for him as well, swings round, but nice work from Rops! They're not giving anything away, that's for sure. Glaive positioned by the lower ramp. Dupree in the connector to handle both positions here. Now Robs has a bit of an advantage, but Chris J certainly does, and that's the bomb going down. They don't really have to commit to this, but Robs continues to hit impressive shots there. Robs on the CT side, I'm sure they've got a M4 and CD spawn to transition with. But Magus going to be challenged once again. Gets his 16th frag of this half. Looking for the second as well. This guy is just playing out of his mind right now. Five on three, as quick as you like. He could get a third here as well. A second chance. Repeaks into him. Magisk is doing it all. Oh, my goodness! Another quad kill! Lives up to the name. It does look magical. He's not going to be getting the ace. Denied as Rob still fights on. Even the observers believed in it. Rob's going to be hunted down. It's Glaive from heaven. 10 to 5. A graceful finish from the Great Danes. Zipex. Flash into the pop dog area and they do descend. They're committing on this. He has the bomb on his back and they are on their way. Four members of Mouse await and only three remain. What is that? Two quick frags. 
Chris J is giving it a good go as well through the smoke. Tagged up another. Just two now as Woxit continues to chip away. Chris J precise. This will be the Mouse Sports pistol round. They needed this one. You said 10 5 on the half. Yes, it's their map pick, but they're coming into the CT side. Win the pistol, do it cleanly, get the juices flowing, and we could have a competitive train. Maybe they're going to start to Back force tracks. that rotate. Keep the CTs busy, and look at the control, look at the fragging. That's monumental. They can even start a wrap here. They're going to get so paranoid. Good Molotov and Rops with a double. Keeps Mouseports, and now it's getting a bit sweaty palms for Astralis. Where's the bomb? Where's the time gone? Claws one back, Glaive, Carrigan on the outside, only going to be able to go down, can't make any impact, 13 seconds, there's so much time to get that bomb down, Astralis, this has gone so wonderfully. Yeah, this all about the mid-round calls there, they wanted to go for the inside split, but it didn't work out for them initially, Device confirming things here, it's Chris J left in the three versus one, he has got the org and 100 HP towards Ivy, but for now, he's still had three players to find, it looks almost impossible at this point, nice work towards Glaive, there's a bit of damage there, but Astralis handled that so well. Towards the pop dog and the main entrance. It'll be flashed in here, but looks at things. That's a great grenade as well. Here's the flash. Can they find multiple kills? It will be an equal exchange for now, but frozen with two with the FAMAS. He'll try and fall back, and he will do so. Protected by the AWP of Voxic here. This is looking very good for Mouse Sports. Oh, and another for Voxic. No armor, no issue, and around for Mouse. And out they go. Wow. Okay. What's the Q1 flashback into the brawl? And Carrigan has been neutralized. Glorian one back, frozen around the smoke, he has a chance. Glaive, Dupree, they're starting to find ways into the site all over. Ryder, Dupree, just around the corner. Might be able to find a frag, Voxic's gone. Normally towards Zipex in that spot, but Device is heading in that direction as well. And it's going to be Voxic so fast. Takes him down with a headshot there, drops the smoke, buys some time, and that's going to be an early lead. They do look like they're about to test Woxic. Glaive's walking down that lower ramp once again, and he'll be punished for that. It's a strange approach so far from Astralis. Trying to get down there with no utility whatsoever after Vox has already shown himself. They are not being pincered. There is still the freedom to go and flow wherever they desire. There will be a flash and a peak likely. Jumping down that ramp is Magisk, and Chris J just going to be jiggling enough not to take the first bullet. Woxic pulls the trigger again. A third for the sniper of Mouse Sports. Perfect map for it and for... Astralis, these are the rounds they tend to do some crazy things with. Just those Desert Eagles, B250s, and there we go! Astralis, they're just doing what they do best. That's a bit more like it. We'll see them actually just nail those Deagle headshots. Dupree known to have oh, one of the best pistols in the game, and Rops, he'll oh. be left alone. Nine and sinker, perfect. The bait on the ladder, a stylish way to draw the last player in. Astralis are aware that he's got the sniper rifle in hand. And already, or are, or are they? Device pantsed. And Woxic draws blood quickly, re relocating as well towards the inner site, trying to get the most out of the only real weapon in this round. Chris J, he bought himself a Kevlar vest in case the warp could be retrieved. And actually, in the smoke, Chris J catches Glaive completely. Now he's got a weapon to pair nicely with that armor. No way of answering back. And Carrigan, Good. he's got behind them. This it could be everything. We'll see whether he can find the frag. Zipex will pull one back. Carrigan now with the AK-47. They're not looking for it. The bomb goes down. It's in his grasp now. And it's going to be a four versus one. They entered the round with just USPs and the orb. And Magus left in a three versus one now. No health, but he has got time. Creeping and crawling. He will eventually walk into the line of the orb. But spotted. Not quite caught. Forces drops off. And it is Woxic to confirm it. Into round 27 of our first, and Dupree will be taking a duel. He's not ready for Frozen, though. Swings out from Pop. Pressure in response. His Molotov, he's going to get ahead of it, and another frag. Two quick succession from Frozen. Zipex will relieve a lot of pressure, and b sites completely exposed at this point. Andre AWP looking towards the ramp. It's going to be Frozen, though. He'll be finding oh multiple God. kills here. The flank oh. coming in once again. A beautiful spray down. Mages patrolling main entrance, but Foxic, he's had enough. What is this play with the That's AWP? Enough. Surely he's done for. He misses the shot. Zipex will punish. I like the audacity of it, but he gives it up. Oh, and Frozen wasn't ready for it. Thought the flames would make that corner a problem for Dupree, but no issues whatsoever. Two early frags in favor of Astralis at a crucial juncture. Chris J looking to find something, and he does. And not many post plan situations. It's all just quite convincing victories, and will this be another one as Astralis have the lead for now, but Chris J walking towards Ivy with conviction. Blade will find him, he had low HP, had to nail that shot. And now the last two players are Mouse Force scrambling to make their way towards back outside. It's Carrigan towards the main end, uh, the connector position, excuse me, as we'll see him get towards the bomb train. Is this going to be enough? He's got no utility whatsoever. Rops has to watch inside. Needs a couple of kills here. There's the first, but can he get a second? So Glaive goes back in. Carrigan 
saving the day. 20 seconds, now the pressure's elsewhere. Good damage inflicted, but Zipex survives. To finish is Rops. Does convert, one versus one. You wanted a clutch? Well, Rops is the one to try. His Mag is the one to succeed. 15 to 14, they take an opportunity and they run with it. How does he move his pawns? It's gonna be a flash for Zipex to go wandering through brown holes. Magisk, however, has caused some early HE damage and Carrick is looking to inflict some more. Pushing towards main. Oh boy, he's insane. Quick double, frozen onto Glaive and this one looks like it just gonna slip past Astralis overtime. Not yet. Helps his teammates put their attention in the right place. And that's the first shot. Woxic, perfect. It looks like overtime is. is confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. Overtime. And this has been a real problem for Astralis. Carrigan up close and personal. He's done it once again. He gets a clean frag, but can't find the second. It's not quite going to be the repeat, but keeping things equal. Bloodshed everywhere. And just quick adjustment onto Chris. He's heard him. He's got to kill on Zipex, that's for sure. He was low HP. Ooh. Gets a dink on Mages, but it's not quite enough to get the frag down to six points of health. And now Boxic has to be the hero. Time becoming an issue, becoming a factor. Does catch a glimpse of Mages, but Stratus, they're going to play this so well. Keeping him restrained. He's running out of time. A smoke onto the bomb. He does have a kit. That's pretty much his best bet here. His only option. Doesn't look like it's going to be too easy for him. Is that sitting outside of the smoke? Easy for Glaive to collect. A 60. Will this be the one? Inside execution. We said we didn't see much of this. And here it comes. The smokes are down. The flashbang's decent. Glaive feeling uncomfortable here. Trying to fall back. And he get the first frag? They haven't been doing a great job on this side of the map. And it's going to be a similar story. Good trades and mouse boards here. They have full control. The Molotovs are down. The smokes have to be deployed. The CT scramble out of the connector now. Frozen. Ready and waiting to take them down. You can play around that. But on retreat, he catches Carrigan. And no. another. Magis, the Orpa. He's got a good idea of Frozen. The nade's going to find him and force him forward. Surely not with the Deagle device elsewhere as well. Astralis, a perfect retake, but Frozen can destabilize the first found. He's so low, though. Does manage to reposition. They're closing in on that bomb. He doesn't have a Molotov. He won't be able to touch it. Does stop another. Device yet to start the defuse. He can't quite find it in the smoke. Now he's on it. There's nothing Frozen can do. Oh, I don't know. It could be... Okay. Well, the defuse came in in the end. Looked oh so good, but Astralis masters of the impossible. Uh, just not going to be having the same effect in this round. Chris J ensures his impact is null. is so separate. Chris J is just going to have to take these fights so long. Oh! It's all him. Three frags from Chris J. They line up. Glaive and Device rattled. Dupree, he rattles right back through the smoke. Oh my goodness. No! Dupree, that is preposterous. He steals the round away. It was Chris J with three opening frags. The double kill came through. The stars are lined, but it's Dupree that shoots for the moon. And now we're left at a two versus one. I don't believe it. Woxic has a chance, okay. but Zipex takes it. Dupree! An impossible round. I just talked about it. Every single member of Astralis, they don't know. Impossible. If Mouseballs can pull this one off, we go to double overtime. That is so ballsy from Carrigan. This round with so much weight applied to it, he's managed to sneak out. Device, however, does best rocks. Carrigan, he does make good on his promise with aggressive push, finding Glaive through the smoke. Woxic in support, the two of them, they're all trying to sell this fake, it's all smoke and mirrors, Woxic with bloodshed, they have a full open sight, this looks good, second overtime, it's on the cards, far from confirmed though, we've seen the Astralis retake before. We have indeed, but two orbs in the retake is always going to be a difficult situation, but Chris J, oh he's right down there behind enemy lines, that's a guaranteed kill on device, surely, it delivers, and now it's a two versus three, Chris J fighting for his life now, down to just... 15 points of help, but I think they've done enough. Double overtime pretty much confirmed here. It would take something absolutely absurd here from Mages. He got 19 points of help. Down he goes, and we're going to double overtime. When no one's there to back you up, he'll plate oh. off the flashbang throne. Can he get out of there? He absolutely cannot. It's Carrigan. Catches his heels as he jumps away there. Nice approach from Glaive and Dupree. Continuing to look strong here with the M4. He's got control of main, but I think that Voxic is waiting for him. Indeed he is. And it's absolute chaos here. Carrigan down the back lines once again. They've got the advantage. For the majority of this round, the final round of their defensive half here in our second overtime. Magic, he's still there. Will not have an option to retreat. The flame's still standing. He's only got 10 HP, so he has to hold the line and still finds a frag. How is he still alive? 10 seconds. They need to get that bomb down. Magic will be pincered in. Now they go. First frag, easy peasy. Now looking to get onto the bomb train. Oh, he slipped up, oh! but still fragging. 
We'll take two. Glaive onto the site. Rops towards oil. Carrigan's already drawing more blood and mouse sports. With nine seconds left, there's nothing Glaive can really do about this one. He knows if he reaches for that plant, he's going to go down. He has a go. That's but mouse sports, you can see the energy. They are one round away from winning their map pick in this semi final. That's, such, that's, just for, that's just for overtime again. That's such a ridiculous ask. But Boxit continues to bring the bloodshed. Wow, Glaive. Barely visible for a second. Rops anticipating a quick push and he's right to do so. They line up, only the first. But damage inflicted and Carrigan happy to profit. Mouse Sports have surely done it. It was chaos. It was weird Counter-Strike. But perhaps that's the answer to Astralis. You've got to get them uncomfortable. And there is no doubt in my mind we have seen an uncomfortable Astralis side here. Just Magisk. And it's finished by Frozen. One map to the good. They take the lead in the semi-final. The execution coming in, one smoke, couple of flashes, and they're committing five players through Monster. And only one man to defend it, Carrigan. He's holding the perfect line for this as they all leap across. This will be a very fast bomb plant. And a five-man retake with what? A kit for Carrigan, the flashbang to get his teammates set up. He's still holding on to that. He wants the cavalry to all be arriving, arrived and ready. And off we go. The flash pops, no one goes down. It's going to be first for Chris and another for Chris J. Rops. Closing things down, just two remain for Astralis. They had the sight, and now they've got the frags. Magisk and Glaive, but it's all Magisk now, and another headshot. He can't quite finish it. Mouse Sports will take the first. Start things off, does make his presence known towards the toilets, but Wox's heart still beating down to 75. Oh, wow. Glaive eliminates Wox quickly, and now Magisk, he won't be able to find the second, and so things don't spiral just yet for Mouse, but perhaps now. Precise headshot through the wall. Device takes the advantage back for Astralis, but that bomb was at T-Spawn. He's holding it for just long enough. A so, crucial frag. For Mass, but he could be interacting with the Deagle player first. He will be, but he's out of position. This is looking very awkward for him. Astralis, they've surely got the round now. It will be Chris J coming in from the connector position. AK in hand, but the bomb planted in the awkward spot. First kill, not going to land. And he's gonna have to fall back. That was his one opportunity there, Alex, and it all falls apart. He's in a prime position to catch device here. Oh, but with a nade just leaving his palms, he gets the finger to the trigger in time. Still with 45 seconds. Majors can do free holding towards the connector. And it's up to device really. Just uh, got a bit of a scouting operation here. See what he can find, and he gets a bullet to the head. Ooh. That's gonna be something, especially because there's no one with him. Frozen's gonna be conveying that information. The CTs, they're in the right place. Carrigan's been caught, though, and with 30 seconds, they are gonna start to have to get a bit of a wiggle on. Zipex with that bomb, he is detached, we'll start to regroup. Rops his position, he's just hoping for a close quarters duel. Zipex is coming solo towards Rops' position, that's the bomb loose. 19 seconds now, there's a rifle. Magisk is in trouble too, they're getting held back, they can't retrieve the bomb in time. Rops with another, Magisk desperately trying to claw this one back, I don't think he can get that bomb, it would have to be smooth, and no. Rops, he's the one to shake his head, and three quick frags around back to Mousebot. Here is the commitment. Fully flashed. Chris J, what? How did Rops not go down? I don't He's know. He's still alive. I don't quite believe it. And another frag is presenting itself to Astralis. In fact, three in quick succession. Level. Bomb's not down. And 15 seconds. It could get awkward. Not anymore. Magisk will relieve so much tension. Nine seconds as the digits do get punched. Frozen arrives from short. And one back. Completely turned. And now they get the 2 1 v 1s It's messy. Zipex. A crucial second frag will secure the second round. And we are going to have the Desert Eagles brought out once again. Four spies, and this is the same outcome here. We've got Device, the opening frag. The sixth man makes its voice heard here in Odense. And out they go. Looks good for a moment. Rops, however, with the back turned, will punish Magisk's push. It's a rifle into their hands, but the CTs are getting whittled away. This looks like it will be an A commitment. Dupree confirms the site is clear in moments. So they're going to be sending Glaive off the leash a little to hunt with his UMP. Good weapon for the job, not too afraid if you put it into the CT's hands. And, well, he has certainly made a delivery, and oh, another one. Frozen. He's going to get pushed down. This could be a rifle from Dupree, but no, he thinks better of it. CT utility in response. There's still two mollies. Right, continues to tick. It may not now. That's the sign to go. The first body dropped. Carrigan gone, and now Device looking for a second. That's great work. Device is arriving in true style here as Dupree. He'll be bringing up the rear, no problem whatsoever. A couple of headshots delivered. This is this is much more like it, Alice. Oi! Rosen will keep hold of that. 
I guess it was late anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much, but they will dismount, and Frozen's actually got playground control. Ooh. He goes for a clean wall bang there. Oh, he gives Astralis a lifeline, a missed shot. Device lives on. Now Frozen challenges, and he will not live on as well. So, four versus four. Carrigan, let's not forget the damage dealt to him from those earlier nades. Woxix trying to stand his ground in the flames. He similarly to his teammate is kind of on his own, will be forced to retreat. Now he can tuck in on the site. They don't have to give them these fights, and now a fight been won or elsewhere. Chris, with that second orb. Yeah, it's working out for them. It's a four versus three, the first advantage they've had in quite some time. Speculative shot through the smoke does land a little bit of damage towards Chris J, but here come the cavalry. Device makes his way through, an equal trade for now. Nine, Nine seconds, seconds remaining, bro. but Zipex has found an opening here. Is there a chance this bomb gets planted? Rob's his main objective now is to deny that. Woo! He's got the first kill, but can't quite get the second. One versus one now quickly eradicated by Voxic is indicative of something a bit quicker stark contrast to the Astralis round before through the flames they extinguish and they continue their advance three men to receive them Dupree's the first to fall Voxic there and he hits another two shots before Astralis pipe up device he's so ready for frozen this should be their round I like the change of pace from Astralis now this is more like it Trying to make their way forward. They've got the intel as to where the orb's position now. Do they want to progress towards A? Glaive. He'll be challenged by Chris J here, but only got that USP, remember, but he somehow gets the kill. A trade from Zipex, but is there anything more to be said on the mouse board side? A nice thing from Frozen. If they go long, Woxix managed to get his orb there in time. Carrigan trying to contain them. A precise shot would have been everything, but now doesn't get a second chance. If they overlook this spot, there's a chance he gets a rifle. Zipex, though, aware of it. Been very, very good in that spot so far. But speaking of which, his Voxic, 20 seconds remaining. Astralis might have run the clock down too low once again. He knows he has a chance to shut this one down. They can't go back towards B. Have they got the flashes to knock him off his position here? Doesn't look good. He's going to go for a second frag. It doesn't connect. 10 seconds remain. Rops will have to rotate in from the connector. It's a deep one. On. He's, He's got it. a chance. I think he might have done enough here. He absolutely has. There's no time. It's Rops from the back lines that denies absolutely everything there. Big Tardy, oh my god, so fast. Into the orc. Can Chris J get away? He does. Finds a corner. The flash is arriving in both sides. Everyone fully blind, but they're closing the gap. They're right next to him. Surely he doesn't get another chance. Frozen, Carrigan, all doing their part. Frox is there as well to find one. And with so much time still on the clock, Glaive, good spray, but... It was a nice spray towards the B ramp, but ultimately should be taken down by Voxic. There it is. It looks like we're off to a fast one as well, Alex. We're going to have five players from Mouse Sports battling their way up towards Shaw. But Magus, he's Woo! ready and waiting here. Headshot being exchanged left and right. It will be the advantage, though, as it ends a four on two. Frozen will pull one back with the P250. This is a key frag for Carrigan, not going to land. Everything looking great for Astralis here to tie things up at eight to eight. Perfect headshot angles. And of course, you have a player who is on four. Magisk will be able to take two heads off that one. And he's going to make it a third, actually, adding a third scalp to his belt. His device will refuel for the half to come. <laughs> oh, Glaive's in the perfect spot to catch Chris if he has a little look. Yep, that's one. Three frags in three seconds from Astralis. Nothing Carrigan can do. Gets himself a fresh Galil, but it's not going to get him far. I just make sure of that. completely unsupported. If they go for a pincer maneuver here, Device has managed to get into toilets and Dupree finding the first. He's winning these jewels and Frozen ensures that the trade is secured. Relatively decent map control towards middle where it's long when they've got the most advantages available to them, but Device, another great shot. That AWP starting to get better and better. Bomb goes down, but Robs could actually take him down here. This will be a key jewel in the round with 20 seconds remaining. Trying to hold on, Device doing a great job so far. And Zipex has arrived as well, but not for much longer. Looking for the second Device. Close quarters, it doesn't get much closer than that. Tagged, eight seconds, there's no way Mouse can take it. Now they're just on the hunt, and from behind, Glaive will strike. Another round and another one for Astralis. They're not landing the same shots they were in the first map, and Magus continues his assault from Shaw. And that single rifle have managed to get more access to a site than they have in the four buys. And Frozen, perfect patience, does prevail on the first. Zipex tagged 150 cal in his thigh. Carrigan needs to hit the shot, and he actually did. Magus goes down, the bomb's not too far gone. And a chance for Woxic, it's the one versus three made 1v2. They're both low. There's a real shot at this. They're on the bomb, he has to contest, he has to hit that shot, he can't. Dupree keeps him safe. 
The fist bumps come in, as does the 15th. This looks like a third map, Henry. He wasn't letting that one slip away. Now they've got seven chances just to take us to dust two. It should be a foregone conclusion here. Money stabilizing at least from Hal Sports. Boom! Oh my God! It's Zipex with a pre-fire from Hal. They continue to apply pressure all over the map. Mages has pushed short pretty much every single round. They haven't had a response yet. You naughty, naughty boy. What a shot yeah. that is to Carrigan. I'd love to see his reaction to that, because he certainly would not have made any secret of his disbelief. Now the frags are coming in for Mouse. Frags presented. Dupree walking into the crosshairs of Woxic, and now they walk straight on into the site. Zipex, he's already hit one wonderful shot, but that will be all to report for round 24. Carrigan waits patiently and fall back towards t spawn with the bomb. It looks like a B finish to me. Frozen trying to show some presence that he's found. What? Dupree had his nade out originally, he had to reposition after spotting him. Couldn't find the shot. Early advantage now for Mouse Sports. We need to play a perfect game from this point. It all starts here, making their way in towards B. It's Mages to block them off. He's got 18 kills to his name. Looking at a couple more to his tally. They've actually got the advantage now. Can they close things out here? It looks very good. The bomb goes down. Device will have to go for a quick scope here as Frozen walks past. Not the knife, yeah. no. Uh, Not like uh, this. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Device, don't give it up. Don't give it up. He has. And we're going to a three on two. What is he up to there? That really could come back to haunt them. Woxic looking to find a way into the site. It will not be easy. Device, his oh arms are sweaty dear. and Woxic hits the flick. One, now two steps in the right direction. Still a very tall order with 15 seconds they have to get across the scope of Glaive. What's the play? A frozen flash, a smoke even better. 10 seconds, they get across. A shot to Zipix! Eight seconds, he's gonna punch in the digits. Glaive gets the first. He's so damn low, the in-game leader could finish it right here with a bullet from his silenced pistol. Frozen maneuvers around the smoke, it's something to play around. Tagging up Glaive, another bullet would do. And... <gasps> Down he goes! Finally through the smoke, but what is this? Okay, clip it. That whole, that whole round, that whole round is a perfect microcosm of this entire series so he far. You're so right. I don't know what the hell is going on here today. There is a diffuse kit available just to know that. Glaive with the P250 still showing presence towards B, but here's the commitment. Making their way up towards Long, trying to find that initial headshot here. Device, he won't be able to land it just yet. Two players waiting, the oh. bomb goes down. They know all of Astralis' tricks now. And Chris Jay, he's finds another head. Carrigan not so lucky now. They can advance towards the site, but the bomb is within the Dutchman's control. Tucks in on Pit. Rops slowly returning to the fray from B. And Woxic in CT. Shots. Confirms Astralis' presence in towards CT. It's a hard shot to hit, but Woxic's done it. Just two. Chris, pressure being applied. Glaive has no armor. It's worth mentioning. And actually, Chris is going to throw out his smoke to Ooh. try and fight around before it plumes. Glaive experiences one hell of a shot. Just Magisk then. On the cross, it's Woxic first to fall. But down to just 22. He's paid his dues for the first. And actually, with Rox, Rops down to three. This shot onto Chris J could confirm things. Rop will tuck in on the side. It's all good. It's all Chris J, to be honest. And it will have to be the force fight here for Astralis. And Device, oh my goodness, through the door. He'll take Rops down. Looks good. The smoke will be deployed. But on the other side is Chris. So much impact in the first and poised to do the same in the second. They do have to... Oh my god, Glaive. Oh my god, Glaive! Carrigan caught out both in-game leaders of Astralis. One past, one present. Astralis, this does feel like a gift. My goodness, two quick kills. Device through the doors. They had the advantage, but it was so short-lived. Now it feels oh so good for Astralis. Three members of Mouse, they gather, pull their resources towards short. That's what we'd call a power play there. The initial kill comes through, and the CTs, they're still battling for this. Not going to work out at all, though. They give up their weaponry, and it's just going to be Boxic remaining with the scout. He'll drop down. And that's a guaranteed round now for Astralis. Is that rotator? He will be likely looking to respond at the moment. He's being kept busy. Dupree wow. leaping from short. A spurt of aggression after the silence of the first 30. Chris J trying to isolate the position by holding by the smoke. Rob will pull one back. Nice position from Chris. Is it going to be enough, though? Difficult to find multiple frags from this spot. They come. Chris J gets the first, allowed to fall off. However, he's lost his friend. Device made sure of that. Chris J dancing around, he's gonna have to try and find another, what? Adjust the spray into device, the round should be concluded, Zipex just doesn't have the health. And the flames haven't caught him, Chris. Just holding down, one more bullet will do it, Woxic arrives from behind, and the mouse sports will manage to close the gap. As we get into a long take here, Carrigan didn't have the best overpass, can he deliver here? 
That's a nice burst kill, but the trade looks very likely indeed. He's been taking down a six points of power for Boxic in the open. Does get the ding, but it's not quite enough. This A split looking very successful as Frozen will have to wait with the AK here. Looking for players all around him. He's got backup and Chris J will have to be the boost here, Alex. They can set him up. Have the element of surprise. The smoke's not going to be the guys they hoped for because now Device finds him. Frozen completely fractured from his teammate. There's nothing they can really get away with here. It would have to be Astralis feeding them frags and quite the opposite. It's Device does manage to sate his hunger and getting that control. Makes it very difficult to come back from CT. Well, this will be a difficult hold as well. Rot somehow manages certain, avoiding certain death at that point, and we'll see him go down eventually. He's going towards long for now. It's a very common choke point of the map, and Mages will be committing as well. They'll throw the incendiary in, but they're so blind. Oh, well, they did it again. First five seconds, and first frag found, and through the smoke, Magic is trying to connect the spray to Priest with him. They take the long control, they take it by force. Chris J does manage to get one back, as does Rops. Gonna be a dreary finish for them, and ooh. What a shot that is. That's he's the AWP Mickey. removed. Boxic, he's got the reaction speed. The very tippy top of Counter-Strike, but still couldn't handle Magisk. Around the smoke, and Chris Chase no! gonna get more than one. A double kill. Dupree's there as well, but he's been able to escape. He can just play the time here, tuck in. Actually upgrades the AWP, he can just hold a line he's happy with. Dupree, though, perfectly positioned to at least find the first. And a chance for the second, it's not good enough. Rops with an M4, no less, wins the duel versus the AK. Only a couple of rifles behind him. Towards short they go, it's a reposition from Frozen, a nice thing to kick things off. And there will be an exchange with the MP9, the incendiary drops as well, they bought time. They've got the advantage, Mage is removed. And Voxic, he's not happy with that. They're gonna flash around the corner with this SMG, it cost them. That lead though, back to the four and four. Not too long ago, baiting out. Close quarters, CZ 75. And speaking of, that's what Zipex is currently equipped with on Carrigan. He decides to bring the fight to Glaive. Does chip away at his health, but 38 seconds and Chris Chase got it all to do. Frozen supporting him from long, he can't even find the first. Clinical from Dupree, the site is his, likely the round as well. Well, they know Frozen has to be there somewhere, so they're going to go for a safe plant. It's a four on two lead, Frozen and Rops. So far removed from this situation, Device. No strength to this angle, he'll be checking this one, takes Frozen down, and it's going to be a clean, clean sweep here from Astralis. Finding too much. In fact, wow, that flash arrived right in front of the face of Dupree. It will be slowed down, and another one arrives this time from Carrigan. He's trying to bait him in the best he can, firing off shots here. And the swing from Frozen, good for one, but Carrigan has to deliver here. Needs at least two frags. He's got that. It's a three on two lead, but not for long. He's at the crossover right now. Does he just throw the bomb over? I think he does. Good Collected. Throw. Good and arms. Retrieved. Oh, be Manchester, careful. That's a very open plot, but he's not going to be punished. Chris J. He wounds him. May not be enough, especially when Device is hitting shots like that, they're tagged. Chris J does zip up the body bag on one. 12 seconds for Device to retrieve that bomb and plant safely. He does start that process now. Chris J trying to draw the fire, ensure it's a full plant. And now Device gets the info. This should be his. Chris has got to be so precise on his adjustments. Oh no. He's fallen off. Device gets that info too. Three frags from Device. He's looking for the fourth, a chance. But it's been squandered. Just the tip of his oh! head. Showing Chris J. He always steps up when he has to for Mouse Sports. Smoke towards the corner, that's to stop Woxic and flashes as well. They're taking long, nothing Woxic can do but flash and retreat. Doesn't have time to tuck in on the site and so forced to hold the Aggie line. Hard work, the hard task, some would say impossible. Smoke's arrived, wants to just find the edge of them and actually good damage. Brings Zipex down to a respectable 50, 30 seconds on the clock and Chris J's not going to re-advance just yet. Instead, a smoke of his own design. There's a gap as well from Astralis, but he can't do anything when Glaive finds that shot so quick. Woxic tagging up one, but he can't find the finish. Dupree. Exceptional, the bomb can go down. This will be Astralis 8. Bob set up. Look at this. Multiple rounds in a row. The auto snipers are out. And this is the one round they don't do any damage. The one time with AK scouts, they would find bodies and tags. Well, oh my god! That is ungodly. Quickly responded though. Good damage, Dell, and Frozen, another sensational shot. He's had a quiet showing so far in Dust 2, but he might be able to save the day in round 15, down to seven points of health, trying to stay alive here. His teammate's dropping, though, they know exactly where he is. One bullet lands, he's gonna go down, and he knows it as well. Magus trying to finish things <laughs> off, but Carrigan saves him. There might be a chance here. With 30 seconds remaining, it's Rob to the Desert Eagle, and now just Zipex, who will spot one. Can he nail it? He absolutely cannot. It's Carrigan, who will find a couple of frags towards the end. A couple of smokes and flashes on the mouse 
towards side as well. They're making their way towards long. A quick take, and Glaive ready to receive the flashbangs. Has his back turned. He's ready to fight now. He'll have to fall back. He's got a teammate towards Carr, trying to bait the vice in, suggesting he's the only player there. And they're still committing. Chris J, precise on the first, will jump to check it, and it doesn't stop the vice finding one, but advantage maintained for Mouse. Rop's going to be the spearhead of this assault, and precise into Dupree. Goes hunting, gets another. This should be the Mouse Sports pistol clean as you like. Four bodies dropped from Astralis Magisk. Surely not long for this world either. Dag down to 50. Yeah, it looks like we might be done here. Very successful approach there from Mouse Sports. They did everything absolutely perfectly at that stage. Decent long control. They weren't baited at all by the car position. And the fact that Chris J jumps across that spot, that's so key. Because at that point, Device can't find multiple frags. He has to adjust his crosshair right. way up in the air. He can't just tap away at players running by him. So that's very well done from Chris. Oh, the smokes will be committed. Carrigan and Voxy to try and take the attention away from the tunnel. But Dupree, it's a great shot. And now they've got to try and push through the flames. It's not looking good for Mouse Sports here. Zipex will get the second kill they know exactly what's up at this point five on three and they're gonna have to limp in towards a b bomb side debris is gonna get certainly at least one and looking for multiple kills here it looks very good for astralis can anything be done here doesn't seem like it dupree he has done so much work for astralis there any steps to give him a way into this it's just gonna be holding the line dupree confirms it one hp no armor doesn't matter three kills and it's Device's ult that finds blood first. Double off set up. It's a very powerful approach on the CT side of Dust2. As you can see right now, Dupree and Device, the double T combo. Doing all the work right now. Bombs down towards T-Spawn, Frozen. Trying to make his way out the long doors here. They're preemptively firing towards Glaive's position. They'd be right to do so. At least take him down, isolated behind the long doors. A chance to win now as Robs. He's already made his way through, but Dupree so quick with this sniper continues to find advantages here. Four versus two now. Still maybe one more buy in the bank for Mouse Sports. Can't I even think about getting the bomb down here. I just he's gonna get caught out on his aggression. Uncharacteristic. And Chris J realizes there could be a gap for him to exploit. Tries to fake it, but Dupree immediately gets confirmation that that is not the case. He can now be responsible for that. Zipex with only the UMP. He holds his ground, he holds his nerve. Chris Chase thrust into a one versus three. Nowhere to go, at least not advancing forward. The flames ensure of that. That was such a key frag there from Zipex and an even more important follow-up incendiary as well. The fact he can actually buy some time and fall back on his low HP, recover the Krieg. And now, as you mentioned, a three versus one. Nice work from Chris, but he takes significant damage in his campaign towards the B side. Pretty much his only option at this point. Oh, what no. is that from Dupree? Oh no, that must be some sort of lineup he's got. Yeah, that's he's absolutely wild. Yeah, he's taking out the hard hitter, that's Chris J. So what's the reaction here? They'll go for the CT spawn smokes. Looks like a committed B split to me. If you're chucking two smokes down, you pretty much have to go for it. It's not even a split. All four players making their way up towards the B doors here. Dupree hasn't missed many shots so far, but he's gonna have to be absolutely stellar here. First one is absolutely nailed. Three versus three, but does he know that everyone's outside? No. He can't do this. It's another one for him, a two on two. Frozen and Voxic finally have a bit of wiggle room and the bomb's been planted for the first time in a very long while. Can they? Profit from this advantage, closing in Glaive. Completely unannounced, pushes through. Woxic, he's done so much in this round. In the absence of Chris, he has to step up to the plate, and he has. Not necessarily confirmed yet. Device may have something to say about it, but Woxic, quad kill, and the ninth for Mouse. This could save him. Chris J actually finds another one. My goodness. Advantage heavily favoring Mouse, but things still could go awry. 30 seconds device on that car. They Spotted. get confirmation. They know he's still there, still standing his ground. Oh. And Chris J, my God, that's enough. Finally caught. 25 seconds. Glaive has an AWP. With only a smoke, things could get real dicey. Glaive's going to actually drop down. He's got a bit of a read. And it's completely wrong. This is a gift for Mouse Sports. 14 seconds. Glaive looks to try and solve this problem with a nade. It's not going to do enough damage. Nine seconds, he's caught. Where's that bomb? It needs to be going down. Woxic will make sure it happens. Okay, I was about Woo! to say, what's happening with the bomb situation right now? Trying to adjust, trying to get the grenade on the side. Wasn't quite enough. And Mouse Sports still alive and kicking here in the semi final. It's going to be 14 12. Zipex might not be able to save this M4. They know they have to remove it from his hands here. Starting to encroach on his position. 22 HP, this is actually pivotal. He has an M4 in the next round that could partially buy. He gets another frag, but surely finished off now. Indeed he is, Robs will get it, and we'll get into a four-round spree from Mouse Sports here. Here we 
go. 25 seconds, 23, and Magisk, he's completely ripped it. So chance back, but Glaive's gonna confirm oh. the round. He can't, he was full flashed. 15 seconds, where is the bomb? This could be chaos. Device, multiple targets, he's been caught. 10 seconds, bombs on Woxic. He has a chance to get it down. Zipix, he could jump to stop it, but not anymore. Find safe haven, they've got the frag, they've got the advantage and the plan. It was looking so good for Astralis there. Oh With the time God. so low, it's now left on a two versus one. Dupree will have to dig so deep at this point. With the AWP, no kit, and he's going to be spotted. Boxing to take him down as we tie things up the 14 14. Let's go! Let's go, Let's go! Let's so, bomb down Let's go! towards Let's the B tunnels go! right now. Mid split looking likely. That's a great shot from Carrigan. He's been doing good work towards short. Device now challenge. Can he find the shot required? There was an opportunity there, but unable to capitalize upon it. And towards B, they'll go. Three players from the door position. Zipex has to swing on this one. It looks like we've got the series point for Mouse Sports. Absolutely oh confirmed. A great round from them. Astralis. Oh, the auto Definitely snipers are out. Like the enemy, and now they're going to be rattling some shots off. Nothing to connect again. Aggression from Frozen. He took the spawn. He seized it. Holds it a sniper towards the mid doors with a flashbang. Hits him cleanly in the face. I'll have to fall back. This is getting awkward now. Glaive looking to swing around the corner here. If he gets a sound cue, there's a flash. This is his chance now. Can he find multiple kills? He gets a burst, but it's boxing. He replies. Maintains the advantage. They still have a minute here. Device knows he has to find a pick in return. And Zipex, oh, he can get caught. The oh. flash out, that's going to guarantee a frag. Here we go, four on two. They might have done this, Alex. Out of nowhere, Mouse Sports somehow bring this game back. And everything pointed to their victory right now. Here we go, I think that's enough. Device, he's in towards CT spawn. Walksix going to get the flank, surely. This is it. Mouse Sports have done it. They're going to the grand finals. Tech timeouts, three maps, four hours, but they take it to Astralis here in Oaks.